Okay then guys, what is going on? We're back inside of Helldivers 2 and things are getting a little bit strange right now with loads of things happening inside of the game and some announcements inside of your main helm with regards to the cyborgs. We're going to dive on into that one as well as the usage of fire inside of this game. It's got crazy to say the least. Some weapon talks and we're going into leak territory in this video as we start talking about some automaton changes that are going to be happening. Don't worry, we'll let you guys know before the leaks that concern you when they'll be showing up in the video so you guys can dip out if you don't want anything to do with it. With that being said, if you haven't already, smash the beautiful blue thumbs up and subscribe with post notifications turned on, it'd be greatly appreciated. On top of that, check out our sponsor, Instant Gaming, the number one platform for all of your favorite games from Steam. Steam, Origin, Battle.net, Uplay, and indie games on the PlayStation, Xbox, and Nintendo Switch, all up to 70% off. They're completely digital games with instant delivery 24-7. They bulk purchase from the developers and sell to you guys at a cheaper price. It's completely legal and safe. So get down to the description now, click the link, and go and purchase your games a lot cheaper right now. With that being said though, let's dive on in to what we've got today. So in your helm right now, you will still see some announcement points and some conversations that are going on that seem to be revolved around the cyborgs. It's almost like they're teasing out the concept of it as we already know the cyborgs were once human. Their terrorists have broken away from the peaceful ways of super earth and are fixed on mass destruction, devastation and ruination. Utilizing inferior technology they have become obsessed with the manipulation of their bodies and consistently seek to pervert the skin with mechanics that according to them gives them a higher meaning to life now this one is quite a concerning one because it seems to be spoke about quite a lot and as we already know we have had a massive influx in the attack from the automatons this one is going to be an interesting one because we're about to fail this major order in around five hours with us only having two out of five of the defenses done for the five planets it's a really really concerning one one of which you guys are going to see right now which was input by a subscriber in the discord now ten and a half thousand people large i may add the leaks and spoilers area of this discord is absolutely nutty right now there seems to be going on quite nicely so massive massive shout out to zeno biologist for supplying me with this clip it looks absolutely insane and we're going to show you it right now Everyone knows Cyberstan has been a rehabilitation facility for the cyborgs since the first Galactic War. What a lot of people don't realize is just how many patriotic citizens it takes to keep an operation like that afloat. I wouldn't put it past them to be working together. I never trusted those half-human freaks. After we retake Cyberstan, we'll turn over every asteroid in the galaxy until we find where the automatons came from. Cyberstan is a place with a long history of treachery. The stronghold of the cyborgs, and later, their prison. Perhaps it is no accident that this world has become our target once again. Super Earth shall not be intimidated by these self-actuated belligerents, no matter their number. Let us meet them head on, reclaim our dominion, and avenge the memory of innocence lost. Here's what I don't get. Why invade Cyberstan? Nothing there besides a bunch of mines and cyborgs. You ask me, the cyborgs are behind this whole thing. Or maybe the automatons just want to use the cyborgs. Or maybe this is just another distraction and the real, real attack is still coming. Yeah. <laughs> But that's it. Watch your back, Helldiver. So as you can see, massive talk about the cyborgs are going to be coming into play, as well as some leaks coming on later down the line with regards to some of the mission types that could be coming from this on the back end. It's extremely concerning to know that the cyborgs could be coming in, especially while we're losing against the automatons as it stands right now. It kind of leads to question as to whether this is going to be a doable feature or not in the next couple of weeks, but we'll have to wait and see. As we roll on into the weekend, though, it's not likely that we'll 
see any sort of additions from the cyborgs going forward but next week and the week after could be an extremely interesting feat with these new enemy types coming into the fix now looking at what it is that is in game right now though fire seems to be on a massive upgrade as well as a weapon which is down on a well a more deterrent for your arsenal this one right here was 3.3 thousand upvotes on reddit stating the fire upgrade for the ship is absolutely cooked when you're the host and you can see right here this clip is disgusting some guy is taking out two charges with a flamethrower with absolutely no effort made it's kind of a little bit nutty but with the extra upgrades on this it does seem that there is being a bit more of an overkill on the fire but overall fire has got a bigger buff anyway so we know full well as soon as it touches us we are absolutely cooked for it's a bit of a good one but at the same time it's a bit of an annoyance considering that our armor types didn't really repel us against fire in any way shape or form especially considering it was an explosion war bond it would have been quite nice to have some sort of protection against a percentage of the fire attack damage one thing which isn't doing too well though and one thing that's getting mocked big time online is the adjudicator we did state yesterday that the weapon is borderline useless and a clip will do absolutely absolutely nothing to anything other than will a, a wiggly worm in the ground this thing is absolutely ridiculous but it stays right here with 3.8 thousand upvotes the complaints are silly the adjudicator is fine and yes yes that is a balloon gun it does actually seem to accurately replicate what it is that the game has in it with a 50% chance of enemies laughing at you. I would love to rectify that one and say that there is a 100% chance of enemies laughing at you because this thing does absolutely nothing. And if there is any weapon that is needed a buff in any way, shape or form at any time, this is definitely going to have been the one. Or at least that's my opinion. Let me know yours via the comment section below. Now before we move into leak territory, we want to let you guys know that we are giving away a copy of Helldivers 2 and don't panic if you've already got the game we are going to be giving you guys the money equivalent in super credits it's going to be quite handy at the moment with the new war bond just releasing as i know a lot of you guys haven't managed to get your hands on it just yet if you haven't already head down to the comment section and we are going to be putting yellow love heart emojis in the comment section today and this will enter you into the giveaway of which i will pick out a comment at the end of the week and we are going to give you guys the announcement via the community page and in the discord via the giveaway announcement page inside of there as well make sure you get involved a yellow love heart down in the comment section below will enter you in and now we're going to move on into some leak territory because this one this one is bloody interesting so if you guys don't want to be a part of this one and you don't want things to be spoiled for you guys in the future now is the time to definitely remove yourself from the video have you day gone yep Okay, right, let's take a look at what it is that we've got going on right now. So via the Helldivers Leaks Reddit page, this one is an absolutely disgusting looking one and does endorse the cyborgs looking style via this. It's a automaton centrifuge mixer. Now this looks absolutely rank and this does not look lovely at all. As for the size of this, you can see that there is a piping on the top. This will be quite a large utilization, which is why I believe this is revolved around how the cyborgs are actually gonna play out with the centrifuge vial and an icon for the regional objective for this icon. Now your goal will be to destroy or disable the mixer overall, and this one looks crazy. No, this isn't the only one we've got in here either, but this is going to be a mission sort whether it is a sort of secondary missions type inside of the game is yet to be seen or if this is going to be a primary footage game mission we'll have to wait and see for me i reckon this is probably going to be a secondary style with the little blue icons that you have on the map because this does seem pretty bog standard although one thing that does kind of lead you into other realms is this right here the automaton centrifuge storage cells now these are the objective that are storing the centrifuge out put and they look absolutely mad they are big red tankers with pipelines on the front of them what they are going to do what they're going to look like we'll have to wait and see but it states right here that they're not sure if it's worth noting but the storage cells 
open at the top. We don't know if they're going to do anything or how it's going to work, but these will be a part of an objective icon like this. Probably, again, a secondary mission. It states right here, the objectives are destructible. These objectives have very similar textures to the centrifuge, so it's safe to assume they'll be related to each other in some way. Now, this one is absolutely nuts because this means that the automatons are going to be up in their game quite a lot. Whether this is coming from straight automatons or whether this is going to have the cyborgs involved inside of it is yet to be seen, but it's likely that we are going to see the cyborgs attack and come through very, very soon. This one scares the life out of me, especially with talks of the Illuminate and now the Cyborgs. This could be a whole new realm of destruction in a live service model for the Helldivers. I don't know what to say about this anymore. So let me know via the comment section what you guys are thinking about these centrifuge storage cells and about the centrifuge mixer. It looks really aesthetically pleasing. There's a lot of red going on and it's all glowy and stuff like that. But geez, this is about to get messy. If you haven't already, smash the beautiful blue thumbs up and subscribe with post notifications turned on because that's unfortunately what we've got time for today. Thank you so much again for watching, guys. Like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the clouds.